As the sun rises over Little India, business owners greet the day by opening their shops and waiting expectantly for customers to stream in. My name is uh, Pushpavali and I'm from um, I'm, having, uh, I'm having a flower shop in Klang. I'm running this flower shop, I think around uh, 25 years. She took over the business from her mother. Today, the flower shop still retains her mother's name, Madam P. Periaka. So what has her journey been like over the years? Earlier, business was very good. My mom was here, was very good because we don't have any shop in outlet, you know, flower shop. Only, only clang, took a clang only go shop. So the business was very good. Later on, outlet a lot of shops in Taman Taman, you know, all small, small, you know, small, small shops all came over. Our business become very less. Then the pandemic hit and she had to close the flower shop for three months. In that time, you were very difficult to use solar because we are, you know, we can't make any money and then, you know, and workers support them. Despite earning nothing from her business, Puspa Vali took care of her workers' food, rent and even gave him pocket money. After MCO, the business was very slow. Then in mid-December, her flower shop was completely cut off from the rest of the Klang Valley due to massive floods. Suddenly, the six suppliers she relied on for fresh flowers could not make deliveries as the highways leading into her area were completely flooded. She kept her shop open anyway and managed with what she could, but this took a further toll on the business. Next came the price hikes, a natural fallout from the pandemic and the floods. Yeah, now they increased already in Cameron. They increased one bundle, they increased two ringgit. Everything increased already. Jasmine, rose, orchid. Sadly, not every customer was understanding of her situation and many refused to purchase her flowers. Our customer, they don't agree, you know, because they, every time they increase the price, then we so increase to the customer. Some customer, they don't agree. They say, okay, la, I couldn't find cheaper way. I mean, people are selling lesser than us. So she did the next best thing and reinstated the old prices, settling for a lower profit margin instead. There is yet another worry. Who to leave her business to? Being unmarried, she has no children and none of her family members have shown an interest in the flower shop either. I don't think so, they will... Uh... Because why now flower, everything are increasing, the price increasing, they have to, com they have to compare and see, you know, they have to compare whether we can, they can, you know, can survive or, you know, they can make, make it or not. Mom time is different, that time is everything cheaper. Even we buy flower bundle also cheaper, later on they increase, increase. Puspa Vali says she will run the business for as long as she is alive. She is also optimistic about 2022 clinging to the belief that this year will be different and in a good way.